So, hello beautiful people. I'm keen to offer some online options. Um, a few people who regularly come to my classes have messaged me and said, oh, will you do some stuff online? And you know what? It's been something that I wanted to do for a long time. I'm sad it's around these circumstances, but yeah, it's exciting um, to take the positives out of the negative. So for you self-isolators or people who want a little bit more practice and um, their classes aren't available at the minute. Yeah, this is a little offering. So we're gonna work on the hips today, loosening off the hips. Obviously the hips get tight and seated in activities we do, so it's really key to open them out. So yeah, let's get uh, stuck into the flow. So let's think about breath work. Um, we wanna find our sit bones. Um, we're just gonna go with something dead, dead simple. Um, you either wanna place your hands maybe in your lap, maybe on your belly. Um, or maybe down for some grounding energy, turning the palms down. If you are into mudras, um, Gia Mudra is one that I always offer out, this connection of your first finger and your thumb rolled together, so the personal and the individual, and extending the other fingers long. What's important is you, if you do it with this mudra because it's connected in towards the heart space is that you lengthen the elbow joints so the energy can travel efficiently and neutrally. Um, and then dropping the shoulders down the back will really help if you are doing that flow. So wherever you are, whatever position that you have decided to adopt to open our practice, to let ourselves arrive guys, there's a lot of intensity flying around in the collective consciousness at the minute and it's really easy to get heady, to get into future events, maybe future ideal events. So we want to bring ourselves back to the present moment. And you know what's there in the present moment? The breath, guys, the breath, the body, the feeling, the, the connection to the now. So you may have noticed I've closed my eyes, really beautiful way I find to begin to turn my awareness inwards from the external environment from the external source of light into the internal so if that works for you and you feel safe to close your eyes alternatively if you don't want to close your eyes it's absolutely fine but pick a focal point so find some place on the wall or in the space in front of you and connect both your eyes to that that union point so you want a sense of of union with this Again, if the eyes are closed, you can take a union point, maybe the crown of the head, the third eye. So this place just inwards, upwards of our eyebrow center, maybe the tip of the nose, or sometimes even draw into the navel point, particularly if you need confidence or the sit bones for grounding energy. So just finding a focal point that works for you for this particular practice. And then fill in the lungs. Letting the life force come in. Prana chi that travels on the breath. And releasing that same gift back out as we breathe out. Life force for the plants. And it sure as the last few days or weeks have shown us that we are interconnected. We're kind of feeling our responsibility on a global scale. So rather than feeling that interconnectedness through fear, let's involve love. Let's bring in that sense of acceptance, of liberation, of forgiveness all key pillars to what we call the vibration of love. So if you haven't started to lengthen your breath, holding patience for yourself, holding time and space, knowing that this practice is key connect you inwards in order to be more efficient when you do the to-do list on 
the back of your mind or the actions that you're going to take after the practice that is really key to connect inwards. So I'm going to invite you to notice five more breaths and lengthen the breath a little bit more and expand the breath out a little bit deeper each time you breathe in and out. connect or invite you to connect with the idea of channeling peace so whatever peace means to you and that might be just this little bit of time that you're gifting yourself it may be in an environment where you can bring more peaceful thoughts or connections to it however that shows up for you what is going to bring you that peace in this moment As we release our gaze, our eyes, opening our eyes, let's tune into a little bit more strength in our breath. So as you turn the palms down and connect with your knees if they aren't doing so now, take a big broad breath out and as you do, round up through your spine but draw your navel point back towards the back of your spine or body. As you breathe in, then really allow the belly to expand the chest, the lungs and squeeze the elbows backwards as you broaden through the chest. Really nice kind of smile for the body. So again, let's breathe out, round off through the back, tune into those strong, what they call in yoga, banda muscles. So drawing the navel point back to the spine and maybe lifting up now from the floor, the pelvic floor and the earth. As you breathe in, letting that soften and expanding into those areas. So these two now nice counterbalances, contraction as we breathe out, navel point draws back, maybe lifts up from the base, tailbone, and that breath in where we allow the expansion, so the expansion and the contraction, the flow, the ebb and the flow. And then again, if you like to close your eyes, you indulge in that flow of inner light, inner awareness, taking it from the external, just taking the next three or four rounds with your eyes soft and closed. trust in your inner navigational system. Don't worry about what I'm directing you to do, just go in with your flow for the next few rounds of breath. Fantastic. And then we move linear back and forth but we can also move lateral or circular so whichever direction calls you I'm going to invite you to shift over to one side back into that widened back the uh, back of the body and then over to the opposite side and then that widening into the front of the chest and just keep that lovely rotational flow going on I find this such a beautiful way to ground so I get very interesting um, metaphors for how the body moves and so if you've not met me um, and this is your first sort of practice or engagement with me and um, this might be unusual for you but I think about a drill or something that spirals down it's a really earthing process so as you circle round think about drilling down or connecting down or spiraling down to that really sort of fiery core at the center of our earth but that very dense holding energy, mother nature, um, really gifting. So it's really great to do that, especially if you suffer with anxiety, something that I definitely used yoga for, not knowingly at the time, but very obvious now. And if you like to circle in the opposite direction, please take your time to roll and really bring your shoulders, the joints of your body. And also um, within the body space, this is great for an endorphin kick. So as 
we move and change our flow, our breath, our body, we release our own inner and pharmaceuticals essentially. So this is really beautiful movement, but now I'm gonna whoop, zip it and let you flow with it. So a couple more rounds, guys. Again, closing the eyes if that feels nice. Noticing which part of the breath is drawing you forward with the chest, which part of the breath is drawing you back. Great. And then as you feel the next inhale for you, residing in the centre, lifting the arms up, connecting them overhead, maybe lifting up with the gaze if that feels nice, dropping the shoulders. And as you exhale, reach your right hand, or it doesn't really matter, one hand towards one opposite thigh and shin, or knee, and the other behind. And then as we breathe in, Again, keep this spiral principle that we started to connect with. The chest is lifting up, the base is grounding down. And then as you exhale, softly use your arm, front arm, to help rotate and the back arm to gently wriggle a little bit further around. So we get in this nice spiral ascension sensation. Let's drop the shoulders, guys. And two more like that, breathing in, self-adjusting as you feel that rotation take flow. Beautiful, and breathing out, so circle around. One more deep breath. Great, and as we inhale, let's raise our arms, our gaze, but remember to drop the back of the body so the chest lifts, shoulders draw down the spine fabulous and then let's go to the alternate side so again connecting with a comfortable area on your thigh shin or leg releasing with the arm that's to the back and again thinking about this as a chest lift so as we breathe in the chest the crown are lifting and as we breathe out the shoulders are dropping down the back beautiful I always say this is your wine bottle moment, guys. You're starting to spiral and open up. You're starting to get that more stress relief focus coming in. Let's take one more. Fabulous, well done. Okay, so as we inhale, let's raise the arms, maybe the sides of the lips, give yourself a smile, well done. And excellent. Let's come into the here hips. So I'm gonna invite you to take a deep cross with your legs. So this may be um, sort of uh, accessible to you by wriggling the buttocks back or shimmying the shins forward. And then move the ankles over so that they are ideally in line with the outside edges of your knees or thighs. So if you could gently run your hands back and forth down the mat, you sort of feel this runoff from your hips thighs and knees to your feet so I call it quite a deep cross with the ankles and then again ensuring that you're reversing the buttocks back sinking down with the sit bones and then getting TP hands so this lightness in the fingertips and this lift of the chest and then exhale try and soften the elbow joints in towards your rib cage as you come forward with an open chest you'll notice that yoga is all about different angles it's about coming to your what we perceive as our limitation and then breathing into that so this might be a mental limitation you might be like oh my body's never been that far before so can it go there and what I would say is yes it can just breathe into it but take your time guys you want this to be union not force so with each new breath, you might notice that the body can relax a little bit further, or maybe that feels like your ample support or expansion for the day. If the hands are wriggling away towards the front of your mat or beyond, depending on how you've got your mat set up, turn the palms up. Still bring the sternum forward and the shoulder blades down the back. And then getting into this yin principle, you might want to relax the head in, let it be part of your spine. 
Some people like to relax now the hands into gentle rolls. And then widening through the head, the shoulders, letting the body hammock round. And finally, if the head is softening down, palms gently turning, shoulders really soft here, guys. And then breathe, nice big breaths, belly breaths. Drawing that navel point back as you breathe out. One more, guys. You've got one more. Hmm. Maybe even giving yourself a little hmm. That helps relax. Remember, it's self-isolation. If you don't express yourself in class, that was the time to start in your own space. As we roll the arms back, let's just release through the hips. So taking the hands behind you, letting the feet go out wide, and then just letting the knees roll in and out. Nice big breath. Okay, so there's a slightly different connection depending on which shin was at the front, which uh, shin was at the back. So I'm going to invite you to you go in the opposite direction. So crossing over one shin and um, it's probably the irregular bind for you or regular cross for you because we all have sort of familiar patterns. So again, let's uh, change it up. Let's change our patterns. Let's wriggle the buttocks back. Let's find that lovely alignment of the outside. Just giving your hips a little massage if they enjoyed that stretch. If they didn't, we're giving them an extra massage. And then as we breathe in, let's sit the buttocks. Let's find our TP hands. Let's be open to the flexibility or the support in this. If you can, flex back the toes. I forgot to mention that, so eek, sorry on the last one, if you can flex back the toes, that can help support your knee joints. So rather than letting the feet just kind of hang here, bringing the toes back to the center. And again, work with your breath, guys. Your breath is your guide. Okay, keeping it really light, nice and easy. Just broad breaths. Going through those same stages, elbows widening, maybe the head supports for a few breaths, and maybe we're ready to relax or inch further down. And really breathing into the back of your body here, guys, concaving and drawing the navel point back at the end of the exhale. I hope you can still hear me when I'm down here. Okay, beautiful. One more breath, guys. And again, ease yourself out in the same beautiful manner that you brought yourself in, mindfully supporting yourself back. Nice, easy flow to commence our practice. And then again, let's rest the feet nice and wide. Let's roll the knees inwards, outwards. Hopefully we're feeling some beautiful connections around these outer parts, excuse me, of our hips and outer thighs. Great. Okay, so we're going to counterbalance this with one more stretch here. So you can do this support from what's called cobblers, so feet together, opening the soles of the feet, or maybe uh, to open up through the hips and the thighs, or maybe reaching the hands back if that gives you more length through the spine and trying to encourage the inner thighs to broaden the outer thighs to reach to the earth. Alternatively, this can intensify if you like to lengthen the legs long. So the angle of flow is up to you. You want to draw the knees and ankles wide enough so that you get a sense of expansion on the inner thigh region, similarly to what we did on the outer. And then again, same process, guys. You might want to rest the hands behind you to keep elevated with the spine and breathe. Or you might want to bring the hands back and again, Little gentle walks with the hands, with the breath. Imagine you are holding hands with your breath. As you keep supporting one another, because we can't hold hands with other people at the minute with <laughs> what's going on and uh, the external, sorry, got a bit of the external in. Ah. Relax through the hands. 
soften in through the hips, the head. And then again, maybe relax the hey, forehead down. The stretch isn't as wide as your limits or your expansion feels today. Remember, you can ease your chest or your chin or your forehead down, or maybe reach for your big toes. Ooh, where is that other one? There it is. Let's centralize ourselves. Great, how are we doing? Nice big broad breaths. Being happy wherever we are with that stretch, knowing that it is key to invite space into these areas. So one more breath, big broad breath guys. And then when you are ready to, relaxing through the feet wherever they've been, shimmy in the legs back to center and outstretching the legs if they aren't, giving them a little shake giving the toes a wave, relaxing through the body. Okay, so we're gonna come away from seated positions now into probably if um, you're joining me for the majority of these videos that I will do because this is one of the best stretches that you can do for your spine and for your back. So cat cow, so you wanna set your hands or if you're working not with the hands but with the forearms, gently down underneath your shoulders. So your gaze wants to connect in front of the fingers of the palms or about mid elbow. And then from here, we wanna let the knees be underneath the hips, let the shoulders be away from the ears, <coughs> excuse me, and the elbow creases, rotating forwards and through. So we're doing what's called external rotation. There's this key movement of the upper arms circling forwards to the front of our mat and the shoulders and elbows drawing back towards our rib cage. Once you've got that, banana flow or crescent moon or however you think about it, you wanna drop your buttocks to your knee creases, your chin to your chest, and you wanna widen as much into the back of the body as possible. As you come into a lengthening for the front of the body, notice if the length for you feels better to stay neutrally, so a regular S-shaped curve to the spine, or increase that S shaped curve, excuse me, that's a little bit of a tongue twister. Buttocks and head coming together, elbows and shoulders drawing down the back. So let's go with this with the breath. So as you breathe out, rounding out through the back, like we did in seated. We kind of did this flow before, but it's just a nice transition. Breathing in, coming into the front. If you're into strength work, remember the lovely options here. You can peel in a knee. Maybe it comes up to your armpit forearm, or you might wanna channel it down the center and then plant it down. And then go to the alternate side. If you know you're gonna work this a little bit deeper, stay with one leg for three breaths, bring that knee up to the forehead, nose or chin, and then lengthen the leg long. If you like this with lower arm body, involved bring the knee the arm in towards the center as you breathe out and as you breathe in lengthen that long hug the elbow crease towards the front palm up head nice and long and heel and hand in one line breathe in out feeling this cross body connection face hand and shin how are we doing fabulous okay Let's go to the alternate side. So if you've been going cross body, keep going. If you've been one side, I'm just gonna walk myself a little bit further down the mat, just for you guys. And then breathe in. When you breathe in, nice and long. When you breathe out, bringing that concave in. Fabulous. Okay. If you like this from quite a sturdy position, you might wanna tuck under the toe and then reach in arm and leg. And it might be enough just to stay with this you feel you wish to, bring an elbow and knee together. Ooh, it's a long time since I've done this and I can tell. And then reach in nice and long. Beautiful. A little bit tricky for me at the minute. So I'm gonna bring that down, bring the knee in, and then lengthen it nice and long. 
Beautiful. Take one more. Make sure that long breath is there. As we build the practice up, it starts to get intense. Fantastic. Okay, let's bring the now arm and knee down. If you need a little circle, spiral through. Just gonna take this lovely layer the heat's building up, which is great. And we can see some of the physical form a bit better. Okay. Fabulous. So great prep for down dog. So let's re-go into tucking and the elbow creases forward, the shoulder blades down the back, the toes under, and then the elevation of the hips. So down dog, take your time to get in here. Maybe wriggle your way into it, guys. It's a feeling. Down dog's a feeling. It doesn't have one particular way of showing up. Obviously, it's an upside down V. But your body will need different areas stretching on different days. Your mind, your emotional body will need more length or less length in the, pos the posture or time, I should say. But let's go over our foundation. So nice expanded hands. Elbow crease still forward, shoulders down, neck in between the ears. Gaze at the thighs or maybe the navel point, chest soften into the lower body, trying to bring that arc into your lower spine. So the buttocks lift, but the heels ground. Nice big breaths, well done guys. Let's hang out in this. Okay. And then let's release the weight off the right leg. If you want to return back to our Superman with the kneeling option as we were before or if you're happy here raise the right leg nice long line in the body so leg lengthening up towards the ceiling pointing the toe just realize the angle of the camera is not ideal for standing with this long leg we're doing some reseated work but let's go with it guys if you're going to bend the knee keep the shoulders stacked towards the mat but open from the waist so the knee and heel open round Beautiful, let's take one more dough breath here. And let's fly to the other side. So relaxing the leg, just to check in if you're unsure, remember the kneeling option is this extension, the knee bend and the hip opening from this position. Or if you're with a long leg, it's the leg elevation and then the shoulders square. Still quite square off the shoulders here, guys. Let's open from the waist and the hips. Fantastic, take two more deep breaths if you can with this. Fabulous. And then we're going to go flying. So when you're ready, let's sweep the back leg forwards and through. It'll be your left leg if you're with me. Knee comes in. Maybe you want to hold it there and take a little tick tock from left to right. Seeing if you can maintain that form. The elbow creases forward as we've discussed. The shoulders down the back. And then the belly powerful and strong. If not, sweep the leg directly through and hang out and wait for us. If you're dropping the hips here, Remember, there's the option to pad the mat, or I should say dropping the knees. We don't want to drop the hips. Or if you're keeping the thigh engaged, lengthen long with that leg. Let's lift up through the chest. But let's relax the back of the neck. Okay, how's your breath? Hmm. Feel into it, guys. Lightness in the fingertips. You are super happy here, stretching out the front of your hip flexor and maybe into your psoas on this back leg. You can't see because just it's away from the uh, camera, but I'll show you in a second. We are relaxing the knee. Please stay. If you want to lift the arms, please extend up through the fingertips and reach maybe oh to the thighs if that feels more balanced or towards the ceiling. As the fingertips lift. Maybe encourage the palms together or wrap the elbows can be a really nice way to do this. And then send the chest up, expanding through the front of the body and ground the base or the tailbone down to the front heel. Let's take two more breaths here, guys. Breathing in to length, expand. Breathe it out to relax. Great. And then as we exhale, let's release the hands. Let's guide the hands down. I'm going to bring them on the inside of your right leg and widen out through this, sorry, left leg, widen out through this leg. 
If you are bringing the forearms down again as we've progressed with all of the stretches so far, or postures, nice bit of breath to get us there. Remember, breath is the first part of yoga. Anything after becomes a bonus. I'm going to now invite you to roll your toe out to the edge of your mat. So in the kind of diagonal fashion. If you're loving the stretch, stay here. If not, roll the knee and the hip, the, the uh, outer thigh towards the earth. So away from your left outer shoulder, or maybe you're raising up through the left arm and squaring off through the shoulders as we lift the gaze. <sighs> Keep it graceful, guys. Let's relax the shoulders. If you're happy to lift the back leg, nice deep breath in. If you want to roll onto the edge of the foot, gently ease and lengthen onto the right leg. Let's take two deep breaths here, guys, whichever option you've decided to take. Breathing and easing into it. Fabulous. Great, suddenly got a, a lots of different hair from this, I love it. As we bring the leg back, let's expand the leg wide and this might be from kneeling and wriggling the leg wide and circling it back or lengthen the leg circle the toes together find plank if you're hanging out in plank remember there's one long line or knees to the earth and hips slightly dipped shoulders back and then let's flow through vinyasa we need a little bit of fire going on so knees chest and chin elbows come back shoulders draw away from the ears to come down to the earth we might be pulling and plant the pelvis and feet and lift slightly to an up dog and then from there we can either lift back and return to what's called child's pose which you know is interchangeable with down dog if you've been practicing with me before if it's your first time remember that position or down dog are really great to go into let's take two more deep breaths guys okay so we're going to go to the opposite side so preparing either in down dog or if you're in tabletop and this time we're going to lengthen up through the right leg. So nice deep breath in. As you exhale, bringing the knee forward. If you're taking tummy strength, elbow creases forward, shoulders away. And then tick tock in that leg, noticing if you can sweep it like a, a smiley face and keep that uplift in your core, in your inner sun, as you build that fire and that strength. Well done, guys. If you bring it straight through, remember to go through. If you're not, keep going moving from left to right fabulous let's bring the knee in now settle it between the hands drop the pelvis and hips raise up through the chest if your legs long keep pressing into that back heel open up through the chest great as you breathe in maybe lifting up through the arms maybe not maybe wrapping the elbows raising through the chest softening with the hips the thighs engage, keep that long line through the body. One more deep breath, guys. Shake this out. Okay, and then as we exhale, hands on the inside of the thigh, leg goes a bit longer, widening through. Okay. Well, they got the worst yoga outfit on today, guys. Sorry, I was coming back and I just thought, I've got to get this videoed for us all. So, wriggling the legs forwards and through, dropping the hips and pelvis, widening through that leg, softening down through the body. If you are rolling the knee out, just take your time. So remember this is a drop out of the toe as we sink down. And if you're moving this to an open outer thigh or hip, nice deep breath in. We connect on the outside thigh or they want the latter part of our space move out with the leg and thigh lift up maybe to the thigh and toe or the hand or roll to the opposite two more deep breaths squeezing the shoulders together and down the spine raising the fingertips lifting the gaze how are we doing excellent and then as we draw back let's connect the legs long nice sweep backwards by a wriggle or a circle round plank half or full knees chest chin or maybe you're experiencing chaturanga you want to roll the toes or the weight from the balls of the feet onto the toes the elbows come back the shoulders stay strong we come into that nice 
right angle alignment. Then we lift up from the center, opening through the chest as we breathe in, then back to down dog, or that lovely position of balasana. Fantastic guys, two more deep breaths. So this is just a little connection on our hips. Let's take one more, fabulous. And then let's bend the knees, let's ease back. Coming into child's pose, wriggling forehead down to the mat, the breath nice and full, or if you prefer the arms by the side of the body, letting them wrap round. So I'm going to wrap up the practice now, even though you may regularly practice me, with me for an hour, I know that self-practice does take um, a slightly different format and if you enjoy these then I can do lots more of the practices um, to support you. So I'm going to invite you to come back down to seated, take a couple of nice broad belly breaths here. And just letting the hands soften onto the center, breathing wide into your belly, knowing that in this moment, everything is fine, everything is well. Super important to keep our inner balance nice and positive to cope with the external. Okay, and then gently rolling that down, if you're gonna close the practice in Shavasana. So bringing the head to one edge of the mat, maybe the knees bent if that is more preferable for you. And if so, drop the feet wide, the knees together. If not, lengthen the legs nice and long. Let the palms turn out by the side of the body. Let your shoulders relax. And oh, guys, if you need your layers, your jumpers, your socks, really beautiful time to place them on. But just feel what is nice for you, make yourself nice and warm, nice and cosy. Little inner sanctuary. Continuing to breathe in this position. Washing any tension off the forehead, off the cheeks, the jaw. And following that through the body like a wave. So continue in your Shavasana energy, in this practice, guys, in this way. Letting the breath come in through, relaxing down and softening through the limbs of the body. Take three more breaths. Anchoring this stillness into your being, your heart, your mind. So this is for the rest of your day, taking it forward in that way. If it's your evening practice or your midpoint in the day, just to let in that fill your space. to take a few more or well, quite a few moments more in Shavasana and if that's the case for you maybe bring you a beautiful um, song on that you like to listen to or staying in the silence. I'm going to formally close the practice now so if you are lying down you might want to bring the knees in towards the chest and lying down and roll from left to right to bring yourself over to one side and lengthen up. Or you might want to take this movement back and forth on the spine to bring yourself up to seated. And then guys, what I've really enjoyed for those who have managed to make my practices at the minute, um, we often do this building of heat in our hands to circulate connections between the hemispheres of our brain and through our heart space. Um, but 
it's very apt at the minute due, due to the extra hand washing or connections with the hands that we've been making. And um, it's been strong in the Buddhist um, community for a long time. And I'm, I'm sorry I've not done a video before because whenever I found external environments overwhelming me, I would always use this mantra or this flow to gift my energy to that space, hoping that that would have an effect. Um, and we know it does, so maybe I will do a little video on that to go into it greater, but anyway, before I take any more of your beautiful time and space um, amid this lovely practice, let's get into the prayer. So, as we bring the hands together, may all beings be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be well. May all beings be at peace and at ease. And may all beings be happy. Obviously that includes you guys. You are part of that being connection. So thank you so much for, um, if you initiated me to connect with this practice, to offer it out on video, thank you so much. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you work with Namaste, maybe sealing it into your mind into your words and into your heart and namaste means whatever we recognize in ourselves we can gift out and we can see that connected that interconnectedness that's something that that connects us all together so namaste from me